Hi everyone, this is LOL Freddy, and today I'm going to be making a video for you. Um, basically, I'm going to be buying a new um, Intel processor. I'm going to be getting the 7700K i7, but right now I have this motherboard, the Z170MX Gaming 5 motherboard, which only supports, at least out of the factory, um, the 6th uh, generation Intel CPUs. Well, we all know that the new 7700K is an Intel CPU Generation 7, so the 7th generation Intel CPU. So out of the box, it's not going to work on this motherboard, but what you can do to remediate or alleviate that issue or fix it is to basically flash your motherboard with the latest BIOS flash update. Once you do that, you're going to be able to go ahead and install your, your new 7th generation CPU in there, and it's going to work just fine. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that, and all you need to know really is you know the uh, the correct motherboard that you have the the the, uh, the actual revision number and the model number. I just happen to have my box with me, which is good to keep your box and documentation because you never know when it's going to come in handy. But more importantly, the reason why I have this box is because this motherboard in particular has two different revision numbers. So as you can see here, mine is the uh, the revision 1.0 but this motherboard actually has a revision 1.1 as well so by me having this this helps because I don't have to open my case and look for the sticker in there it's either on the front or the back of the motherboard it's gonna show the information I have the box where it came in so I can basically use this to my advantage and as you can see it's the uh, the Gigabyte Z170 MX Gaming 5 it's the uh, Intel Z1 or Z170 socket 1151 revision 1.0 so now I know that that's the revision that I have. So that saves me uh, uh, a lot of hassle having to open up my case to figure out that information. Anyways, so now that we have that out of the way, the other thing that we're going to be needing is a USB, um, what's it called, flash drive. I already have it plugged in in there. There's nothing in there, but I'm going to show you how to prep that USB flash drive to be able to do the BIOS flash. So before we do that, though, we got to go to the, uh, the Gigabyte website here to get the BIOS flash. So the easiest way is just to open up Google Chrome, and from here, Google search, I'll just type in the Z170MX Gaming 5. So there it is. And I'll just do the first one, just Gaming 5. Once you do that, usually the first one that pops up is the right one. There it is. Revision 1.0, I even did it for me automatically. And I'll show you why it's important to know the revision number. Okay, so we're here in the Gigabyte website. This is my motherboard right here. So we have it right there. As you can see, though, it has a revision 1.0 and a revision 1.1. If you had this clicked on revision 1.1 and you went to support, you might possibly get the incorrect BIOS flash. And that could be a big no-no for your system. It could basically crash it. It could break your motherboard. So it's better to be careful and make sure you have the right information before you do this. Because flashing a BIOS is not a laughing matter. You only do it when you absolutely have to or if your computer is giving you problems. So since I want to upgrade to a better CPU, I have to do this because it's a next generation CPU, it's a seventh generation. And right now mine only supports the sixth generation. So anyways, we'll click back to revision 1.0 because that's the one that I have, as you can see in the box I showed you guys. And then we'll just go to support. Once you click support, it's gonna ask you for your operating system. We're just gonna go ahead and do you know, Windows 10 64 bit, which is what I have. And then we're just gonna scroll down here to BIOS. We'll click on BIOS. And then we'll just get the latest one, the F22 Alpha. It's only 5.53 megabytes. And it tells you the description. So update CPU microcode fix HT fly issue. That's interesting. But you know, if I show you down here, a couple down here, um, let's see, back in 2016, November, they introduced support for seventh generation CPU. So that's pretty cool. And it tells you that this BIOS prohibits updating to earlier version BIOS. So if you upgrade to this BIOS, you won't be able to go back to the older ones. It's just letting you know. Um, so basically, you know, since I'm going to be updating to uh, upgrading to a seventh generation CPU um, Intel processor, I have to get this one or anything after this one. So since we're already flashing the motherboard, the BIOS, why not just do you know the latest one, which came out in June 30th of 2017? So yeah, we'll click that. I'm in the United States, so I click America. It's going to download it. As you can see, it's downloaded there. 
If you have Mozilla Firefox, your downloads folder would be Control J, I believe, and you can go in there. Um, but yeah, once it's downloaded, I like to click the little up arrow, and then just click where it says Show in Folder. It's going to open this up, and there's my file right there. Cool beans. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna, it's already selected. I'll right click it and then just copy it. So copy. So we have it, you know, on the clipboard to copy to the new flash drive. So at this point, I want you guys, you know, to plug in your flash drive if you haven't done so already, and then format it. It's very important that you format that drive. So right now, this is my drive right there. It's just called BIOS Flash because this is what I use this, you know, flash drive is to update BIOSes and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is right click on it and basically click on format. And once I click on format, We'll make sure that quick format is selected. You can rename it whatever you want. I'll just leave it BIOS Flash. You can just do whatever you want, really. There's no, not really, doesn't matter. And then we'll click Start. And it's going to warn you that it's going to erase everything. You already know that, because formatting does that. If not, then you learn something new. Anyways, we're formatting, so it's fresh. There's nothing in there, and it's basically ready to be um, filled up with the, uh, the BIOS Flash. So click OK. It's going to work its magic. There it goes. All right, we'll click OK. Cool beans. Now we can close this, and now we can open the BIOS Flash USB. Again, you can name it whatever you want. I just named it that for convenience. I'll double click it. There's nothing in there. So since we already copied the file from our downloads folder, we can just right click, and we can just go ahead and paste. And there it is. Once you have it in here on your flash drive, I want you guys to right click on it and just extract here. Um, either with Win, what's it called, 7-Zip or WinRAR, whatever you have, just extract it here. It's going to do it for you. Done. You don't see anything new. That's because you have to click on the refresh button or press F5 on your keyboard. Once you click that, the files populate. They're already there. It just needs to be refreshed in the system for you to be able to see it on the graphical user interface. So there we go. We have it. So we have the original file. We have the actual application for the EFI Flash. But more importantly, we have the actual BIOS Flash file, which is this one right here, Z170MXG5. See, that's the, mod the uh, model number of my motherboard, and then the version F22A. So we, we know we have the right one, because that's the one we downloaded. So once we do that, we can just go ahead and close this out, and basically reboot the computer. And once we reboot the computer, we are going to go ahead and press the N key, when the uh, the computer starting up to basically take us to the Q flash to flash the BIOS so we'll do that real quick we'll click here click the little power icon and just do a little restart right there so now that it's restarting or rebooting I'll go ahead and start tapping the N key because on this motherboard end is the Q flash so I'm just tapping the N key on my keyboard the Q flash down there and here it is so now we're here so this is Q flash this is what you use to basically um, flash the uh, the BIOS alright so tells you the model name the Z170MX gaming you know 5 BIOS version F4 that's what we had before and then the BIOS date uh, wow so January February March March 10th 2016 interesting uh, let's see Cool. So we're going to go ahead and update BIOS from drive. We should be able to just click enter. And then from there, we'll choose the correct um, device. In our case, it's a USB disk 2.0. Press enter. And here's our file there. That's the one we just downloaded, the Z170MXG5, the F22A. So we'll press down. This is the uh, the information of it and the uh, the time and size. But here it is. We'll press enter. Now it's doing the Q flashing. All right. So let's see. It's going to tell you the model name again, the BIOS version, BIOS date, and that's it. And then just click enter. Now it's going to be flashing the BIOS. You don't want to touch anything, leave it alone, and let it just do its own thing. So it's going to update the BIOS now, as you can see with the, uh, the progress bar down there. This is where you pray the power doesn't go out. <laughs>
because <laughs> if that happens, that's uh, that could, that could really cause a lot of problems in your system. But luckily, I have an uninterruptible power supply. So if that happens, I would be covered in that situation. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for this to go through. In the video, I'll just fast forward this, but you know, since I'm sitting here, I just gotta hold the camera. BIOS update is complete. There it goes. It's going to reboot automatically. Bum, bum, bum. There it goes. So it's it's always a little nerve wracking when you update the uh, when you flash the BIOS. You're like, oh my god, I hope everything went okay. But as you can see, it's loading up the uh, it's posting and we're here. That's it. Using my fingerprint reader. Log in. Yep, and that's pretty much it. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you basically flash your. Uh, your BIOS to have the latest features. In this case, if you want to run a processor that's not compatible out of the factory, by doing this you can run processors that are, you know, the next generation that weren't originally compatible with the motherboard at the time. In my case, I had a 6600 um, i5, so it's a sixth generation Intel, and I'm going to be upgrading to an Intel i7 7700K. It's a seventh generation Intel processor. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, simple, straightforward, just gotta make sure you have all, all the right information and you gotta be patient with it. Once you have all those things in play, it's pretty much just click and follow the instructions and it takes a couple of minutes and then you get it done. That's pretty much it. Alright? Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, definitely feel free to thumbs it up. If not, thumbs it down. You know, it's up to you. And if you would like, feel free to subscribe. I like to make videos like this every so often. I also like to stream and show um, video games that I play while I stream. I like to um, show how to customize video games to run better. Um, graphics card tweaks and this and that, you know. It's a pretty interesting little channel. It's got a lot of, you know, random stuff in there. So check it out if you want. If not, it's cool. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps. Um, if not, um, feel free to leave a comment, you know, you know, saying if it didn't work or if you're, you're lost, I might be able to help you out or anybody else in the comments can help you out. And if it did work out, feel free to say, hey, thanks so much, I appreciate it, <laughs> or something like that along the lines, okay? But yeah, anyways, guys, take it easy, and, you know, if you guys do upgrade to a new CPU, have fun with it, you know? Nothing's better than having an upgrade, right? Better frame rates, better game performance, better, you know, encoding videos and whatnot, it's always a blast. Anywho, take care guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.